Well, hello. Welcome to a beautiful day here in Minnesota. Well, today I'm not fishing, but I am going to make some sinkers and I'm going to show you guys kind of how we do it here at my household. Make a lot of weights. I think I recently made probably, I would say, Mike Olson, welcome to the stream. Heather Abney. Good to have you in here. We're making some weights, guys. We got three ounce all the way up to 20 ounce weights. And you guys know at Northwoods Angling, we uh, we use some pretty big weights sometimes. James Smith, Fisherman Madness, E-Star. So I got some ingots here I'm going to make into weights. I'll kind of show you guys the process from start to finish and um, kind of show you guys what I'm doing here. So first off, first things first, usually you start, let me see if I can uh, get this phone out of here and then I'll set it up when I start making weights. Matt Byer, welcome to the stream. I'm trying not to, uh... Doug, good to see ya. I took, I have it in this holder here, but I'm going to take it out of there. I already burnt myself, so it's a good start to the day and I got my welding gloves. All right, so first things first when you're doing lead, make sure your lead, I need to turn this down a little bit. Make sure your lead is clean, guys. So when you get lead, you're gonna notice, there's the Northwoods truck on mine. So this is how we get lead right here. This are wheel weights. And I kinda wanted to show you guys exactly how we do it. So we use a turkey roaster, and we put the wheel weights in there and we put it on the turkey, the turkey roaster outside. Everything needs to be outside. And what you're doing is you're melting those that lead down and when when the lead melts all the impurities are going to float to the top and if it's steel in the lead it's going to stay at the bottom and you got to get it out um like clips wheel clips they'll actually float once the lead melts so it's not that big of a deal if all the clips are on the wheel weights but you definitely need to get the lead clean and once the lead's all melted, you stir it up and you scrape off the top layer. Usually, usually we use this. I just scrape it on the top of the lead, the liquid lead. And then you scoop it out and put it in a bucket with the clips, all the clips. Metal floats in lead. It's really weird, but it does. And then once it's melted and clean, we, we dump the lead in there right in there it's a little muffin pan so all the lead goes that's melted and clean from there goes into the muffin pan it hardens and it makes these little ingots i think these are about three pounds each and uh that's what goes in here so these i have 12 ounce i have 20 ounce um six ounce eight ounce three ounce four ounce and five ounce so I have a lot of different weights and I usually heat up the molds before I use them but if they get too hot it's not good. And you always want to have eye protection and gloves. That's important. So I do not flux my lead. I do not. Alright. This is catfish lead, yes. All lead's the same. Catfish and walleye enjoy the same lead. Uh, my the, my my rod and reel that I have caught. What is your best rod and reel that you have caught? Your best catfish, Catfish Weekly. Country girl catfishing, Catfish Weekly. Lyle Stokes is in the house, guys. If you hadn't had an opportunity, go look at Lyle Lyle's channel, Catfish Weekly. You should. Mostly, because he's amazing. Um, this is probably my favorite rod. I got. These are Tomcats here. This is my new This is my new flathead rod. I actually have a new rod getting made. This is my new my new setup here. It's a catfish Tomcat custom rod. It's a white blank. It's beautiful. It's a heavy action. We got a lot of rods in the garage and that's I would like to say that's all of them but it's not. All right, 
Wish I could have made it. Time for me to come get some sinkers. <laughs> NFA TV. Yep. That's right. River Rat Outdoors. Those are some rusty wheel weights. Yeah, mu uh, musky poles can work okay, depending on what you're using it for. It definitely wouldn't be good for all types of catfishing. But there's a good place where they, that works. So I'm going to set my phone up here in the holder. And I'm going to show you guys me making some weights. I kind of need both hands. Um, I thought I was going to have a helper today. Um, that didn't happen. So it's just me. Let's see what we got here. Let's, maybe we'll just get a side view. You guys want to see right there. All right. First things first, eye protection, guys. Definitely want to have eye protection. Melted metal is pretty hot. Gloves. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this torch. I don't think I'm going to torch these molds, but I usually do. So I'm going to take another puck here. I want only I only want one though. I'm gonna this is already melted guys. I had this on. So I dropped that nugget. This is a three pound piece of lead right in the molten lot uh, lead here. And you can see it starts to drip out the bottom there. Not what you want. So I just wiggle the handle. Usually it stops. I don't know what I'm doing. So I put this. This is the drip, the stuff that dripped. It already fro it already hardened. It's hot though. Put it right back in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a mold. I think I'm gonna do. I will do three, three fours and fives, guys. I'll do some three, four, and five ounces. So, let me move this ladle. All right. So we're gonna do a three, four, five ounce, guys. So what I do, this has holes in it here. There's a hole there, hole there, hole there. Three, four, and five ounce weights, okay? So what you do is you put it under the under the nozzle and you open you lift up the handle until you see the lead start to come out the top. You let off, you do it again. You do it again. So I'm filling each hole. There's a cavity inside. All right, so now you can see the cavities are full of lead, guys. So they're already ready. They're already ready to go here. So what I do is I open it up. And this is what they look like inside the, inside the mold. They're in there. And you can kind of see how that works. So you can either hit the thing on the wet on the wood or you can use a pliers and pull each one out individually. And it is good to have thick gloves on so you can handle it. So when you get a weight out of the mold you guys can see it has a tag on it. Most people don't realize that that's how they are. So it has a it has a tag. So what I do when the lead's even it's pretty warm still, you grab the tag and you just twist it off. Then you have a brand new. Well, it was. So I take these tags and I put them right back into the pot. Hold 
All right, here's the weight, guys. It's a five ounce bank sinker here. That's all it takes to do those. So what I'll do is I'll just take all the tags off. You can do it later, or uh, you can do it later, or you can do it right away. I usually do it right away. I usually just put the tags right back in there. So once you get going, it actually goes pretty quick. Speaking of going quick, so this coming week, you guys, let me see if there's any very bad connection. Why is there a bad connection? All right, should be good. Let me look, let me read some comments. Why does this have a bad connection? I'm on my Wi-Fi. Weird. <laughs> I'll be about to pick them up when you're done. Nice try. Do you sell those weights? I do not, Courtney. I do not. I only have about... I'll show you guys my lead... My lead pile in my garage. Here's my boat. So there's my lead pile right there. I only got about a hundred pounds right now, so, and I have a hundred pounds melted, so, kind of, quick getting a bad connection. Nick Welch, what's going on? Make sure to like the stream tonight, folks. James Dockery, I appreciate that. All the thumbs up, all the shares on the stream. If you haven't shared it, feel free. I'm, I'm teaching tonight. I'm a teacher. I even got the safety glasses on. You know, I do work in the construction business. I do work in an office, but... I still gotta wear protective eyewear when I'm in the shop, you know? I spiked like it. I spiked the like. I appreciate it, guys. Looks like you could use your <laughs> Yeah, I'm, uh, I should have had Nick, I should have had you come over and help me record this. It would have been a lot easier if someone was recording me. I'll tell you that. All right, so in a store, weights cost a lot of money. You can save a lot of money. The initial purchase of this stuff is not that expensive, you guys. You guys have seen my boat. I'll show you. So that's my boat. That's the Seaducer. My roommate's boat is right here. That is a, uh, I might lose a little, it's a jet boat. It's just a low, low jet boat. You're getting them really skinny water with that. So I'm going to keep going with sinkers. So I need to skim this, you guys. I'll show you guys what I mean. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just going here. You can see it's not clean. It should look like a mirror. When you're looking at your lead, so right here's the sludge. I just put it right on the table right here. Just tap it on there. And if the lead does get too hot, It'll start to change color and it'll try to change gold. And you remember, if your molds get too hot, if you start getting weights, when you're putting weights in here, like especially this 12 ounce or here, or a 20 ounce mold, and you start your weights start breaking off at the uh, at the tag, and your weights start getting really brittle when they come out of the mold. Your mold's too hot. You don't want to get too hot of a mold, but if you have a really big a big weight like this 20 ouncer I got you don't want to start it when it's cold so the first couple weights aren't gonna be that good it's gonna get really good and then it'll get bad um, I can I can make a 20 ounce for you guys if you want to see it I will make a 20 I wasn't gonna make any 20s tonight but I will I'll do it right now those weights are still hot by the way so I gotta get my gloves on You can see it's dripping a little bit, but it's not a big deal. So what I'm going to do with this 20 ouncer, this is the 20 ounce mold, guys. Really big. Where are you finding all those wheel weights? Suggestions? Junkyards? Scrap yards? So I'm going to torch this mold, guys. I got a torch here. Let's see? I'm torching the mold. I'm going to get it warmed up. 
Oops. I think this propane's almost empty. So I'm just torching the mold here. You won't get as much pockets in the lead. All right. So, so on this one, you need to tip it. If you do not tip this, it will not fill correctly. And it may not even fill correctly right now. We shall try. It's such a big mold. It's really tough. Sometimes it misses the end loop. So we're gonna, this takes a lot of lead guys. I don't think this one worked by the sound of it. I don't know if this one worked guys. And it did, it worked great. Right there, full 20 ounce hunk of lead. Which I will use. It's probably the only 20 I'm gonna make though. So these ones stay pretty warm, guys. These 20s are no joke. So it's the same thing as the smaller ones. You grab the tag, you grab the weight that is smoking in my hand, throw the tag back in the lead. Now you got yourself a brand new 400 degree hot lead ball. But that's why I'm wearing welding gloves, guys. So, it's pretty easy to do. Don't get your molds too hot. All of this stuff, like these, we get all those at Bottom Dwellers Tackle. All the do it molds, those are do it molds. They also get those at Bottom Dwellers. Um, all the ladle and all that's also at bottom dwellers. It's all over there. So it's pretty simple to make to make weights. It's not too bad. Um, I'm probably gonna make um, just just for notes for later. We are going to Canada in six days. We're going to Selkirk, Manitoba. The cat bite right now here is not good. It is not good, Nick. What happens when things get old though that's what happens when things get old yes my daughter Raven loves you and it's her 14th birthday could you say hi Dwayne Martins Raven happy birthday to you hopefully you get out fishing with your dad happy birthday panfish what's going on brother what's going on and you guys I want to show you guys what happens when the lead gets too hot in a pot when, when it gets too hot it starts getting gold and that's usually when it's a little over overheated, but that's fine. I'm only it's only at a seven out of ten right now, so it ain't bad. We go to Canada in six days, you guys. We're going to Selkirk, Manitoba. We're going to target channel cats. It's the channel cat fishery of the world. Um, it is the one place where you can really, really catch a lot and a lot and a lot of twenty plus pound channel cats. Still water tonight, I have an open boat. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot tonight, unfortunately. I wish I could. I was out in still water last night, surgeon fishing, we got one. It was tough. But I wanna thank all you guys for the new subscribers on this stream. Um, and after Canada, you guys, there's a secret trip. There's a secret trip I'm not going on, but Members of Northwoods are going on a secret trip five days after Lockport, guys. They're traveling a long ways to go fish for a really, really special fish. Um, so make sure you're subscribed to Northwoods Angling on YouTube. And make sure you guys stay tuned. I wasn't even aware of this trip until probably about three weeks ago. I had no idea. Um, but uh, it's going to be really, really cool. I'm going to be live streaming when I'm up in Canada, too. 
I'm probably going to be live on YouTube next Thursday, you guys, in Selkirk, Manitoba. Um, you guys are going to watch some fish on board on live stream. Some really, really big channel cats are going to be on live stream. Um, so stay tuned for that. And uh, if you guys have any questions about making sinkers and where to get stuff, I will make I will put a link to all the stuff I use in the bottom of this video when this video is done. I'm going to go inside. I'll put links on to bottom dwellers to all of these things I use to make to make sinkers. It's really easy, you guys. Once you do it, I've only been doing it about a year and a half now, and it's it's not bad at all. It's really really simple to do. Just be careful. Make sure you wear eye protection. And you have really really good gloves, welding gloves preferably, because those weights are really really hot, you guys. And um, yeah. Thank you for all the su subscribing. Thank you all you guys for the thumbs up on the video. Um, if you have any questions, comment in the comments below. And if you like a different kind of weight, comment in the comments below of this video. Tell me what your favorite weights are to use and why. I've gone through a lot of weights. Yeah, do not melt lead when it's raining, you guys. Lesson from Lyle Stokes himself. I appreciate it, guys. Carson Williams, I appreciate it if I have missed anyone. Yeah, no moisture in the lead, guys. It will pop, and it will go all over you. I got, I got, uh, I didn't get popped, but I I was uh, trying to fix the drip, and I got a piece of lead on my hand, but be careful. Tight lines, everyone. Northwoods Angling. We'll see y'all on Thursday in Canada. I'll be live. We're going to be crushing Monster Channel Cats. Any other questions, this video will be up. Feel free to ask down below, guys. If you Tell me what your favorite weight is and why you use it. It's interesting to see that because lots of people use different weights when catfishing. I've kind of been out of the loop lately fishing on, or uh, live streaming on Facebook. It's been, I've been really crazy busy at work, really stressed out. I need to get out fishing more. So tight lines from Northwoods Angling, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all the new subscribers. And everyone that is subscribed, thank you for sharing. Thank you for the thumbs up. Have a great night. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Ooh. I'm, I'm really quitting. Stop streaming? Yes, I do want to stop. See you later.